Anthony DeGrasso here, bringing you financial news that you can use. In this series of videos, I'm gonna be looking at stocks to invest into recession-proof your portfolio. In this particular video, I'm gonna be doing a stock analysis on Consolidated Edison. Now, is Consolidated Edison worth investing in right now, this utility company? Well, let's find out together. Uh, I'm gonna go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and then I'm gonna give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below, definitely helps, and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. So let's get right into it. So this video is brought to you by Webull, where you can get, uh, it's an online brokerage trading platform where you can buy stocks, options, ETFs, and cryptocurrencies. If you sign up today and deposit any amount, you can get up to 12 free stocks by using my referral link in the description down below. All right, so Consolidated Edison, through its subsidiaries, engages in regulated electric, gas, and steam delivery businesses in the United States. It offers electric services to approximately 3.5 million customers in New York City and Westchester County. Gas to approximately 1.1 million customers in Manhattan, the Bronx, parts of Queens, and Westchester County. And steam to approximately 1,555 customers in parts of Manhattan. The company also supplies electricity to approximately 0.3 million customers in southeastern uh, New York and northern New Jersey, and gas to approximately 0.1 million customers in the southeastern uh, New York. In addition, it operates 533 circuit miles of transmission lines, 15 transmission substations, 64 distribution substations, 87,500 in-service line transformers, uh, 3,900 pole miles of over uh, overhead distribution lines and 2,291 miles of underground distribution lines, as well as 4,350 miles of mains and 377,000 service lines for natural gas distribution. Further, the company owns and operates and develops renewable and energy infrastructure projects and provides energy-related products and services to wholesale and retail customers, as well as invests in electric and gas transmission projects. It primarily sells electricity to industrial, commercial, residential, and government customers. The company was founded in 1823 and is based in New York, New York. So let's go ahead and look at the news of the past couple of weeks of what's hit on the wire. Now, Consolidated Analytics, uh, I mean, Consolidated Edison, it declared a um, a stock dividend of 79 cents a share to its common stock, uh, payable September 15th, 2022, to stockholders of record as, uh, as of August 17th, 2022. Now, remember that, that date, August 17th, because right now it's August uh, 12th. I will explain that towards the end of the video when I give my analysis. Now, uh, in other news of the company, uh, Consolidated Edison is selling one of its uh, or its three billion uh, dollar green renewable energy assets. In February, it stated that it was exploring strategic alternatives for the clean power business, and this is one of the things they're doing. So let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company right now. The stock is currently trading at ninety uh, $99.11 a share with a market capitalization of about $35 billion. Now, the company is projected to have $14.15 billion of revenue for 2022, with earnings of $1.61 billion. Now, the revenues are projected to increase over the next few years to around $15.37 billion by the end of 2024, with earnings of around $1.91 billion. Now, earnings are forecast to grow about 7.74% per year, and the earnings grew about 44% over the past year alone. So let's uh, let's analyze this company real quick and, and go over a few uh, key metrics. Now, looking at the valuation analysis, because uh, the company is a multi-utilities industry and has a positive earnings, the PEG, uh, the price to earnings growth, and the price to earnings and the price to book ratios are the most appropriate valuation measures. The price to sales ratio is less instructive than the PEG or PE since the company has positive earnings. Therefore, the company seems highly valued right now with a price earnings growth value of 4.14 times, one of the highest in the in the utility multi-utilities industry. However, the price to earnings is only 21.67 times in line with the industry median of the same 21.67 times. Now, what is the, uh, the share price versus the fair value? Now, the fair price of this company when looking at future cash flows, 
For this estimate, we use a discounted cash flow model, and uh, that's that makes the company traded way below the fair value of the company. Now let's look at some profitability numbers uh, of the company. Now the company currently offers a dividend of 3.19% roughly, uh, and is in line with the industry average, but higher than that of the S&P 500, which yields 1.95%. Now it is however important to note that the dividend of 3.21% is net well covered by earnings, but historically speaking, they've always paid out earnings. Now let's look at the growth of the company. So earnings growth at the company outpaced revenue growth over the tra uh, trailing 12 months. This is a trend that is not sustainable if profits are to continue to grow at this rate. However, this result was better than that of the average company in the multi-utilities industry. And finally, let's look at the financial strength of Consolidated. So it has a debt to total capital ratio of 55%, which is in line with the utilities industry's norm. Given that the company's operating profits are 1.67 times greater than the interest payments, there should be little difficulty in repaying its debt. So basically, what, what did the analysts say right now uh, regarding this specific company? Now, the average uh, uh, price target of Consolidated Edison over the next 12 months is only $88.67 a share with a high estimate of 99 and a low estimate of 75. And going over the few of the analysts' reports, now the Street Quant Ratings report, uh, they rate it as a buy. Now this is based on the uh, convergence of positive investment and measures which should keep this stock to outperform the majority of stocks that they rate. Now the company's strengths can be seen in multiple areas, such as a solid stock price performance, impressive record of earnings per share growth, compelling growth in net income and revenue growth. Although the company may harbor some minor weaknesses, they feel that they're unlikely to have significant uh, impacts on results. And the Ford Equity Research Report, they currently have a hold on Consolidated Edison as a result of their systematic analysis on the three basic characteristics of earning strength, relative valuation, and recent stock price movement. The company has managed to produce a neutral trend in earnings per share over the past five quarters, while recent estimates for the company have remained steady. Uh, it has posted results that fell short of analyst expectations based on operating yields uh, earnings yield the company is about fairly valued to the to all the companies that they cover and share price changes over the past year indicates that the company will perform very well over the near term and finally let's go over the cfra report and they rose their 12-month price target to only uh by two dollars to ninety dollars a share and, and take it it's trading at 99 dollars a share now the peer discounted uh 18.6 times their 2023 earnings per share estimate uh, which they rose uh, uh, five cents a share to four dollars and eighty five cents. We raise uh, earnings per share. Now they they raised their two thousand twenty two earnings per share estimates one cent to four dollars and fifty cents. Now uh, they posted a quarter two adjustment of earnings per share of uh, sixty four cents versus fifty three cents, which is five five cents above consensus with higher electric and gas rate uh, bases. Now, uh, lower operating and, and managed maintenance costs in the clean energy segment and collections of late payments, which had previously been deferred due to the pandemic, uh, higher interest expense and ongoing share dilution weighed on the results. Now, they do have concerns on the uh, CEC uh, Coney's ongoing electric and gas rate cases. Now, with inflation creating a more difficult near term regulatory environment, in their view, the New York Utility Commission recently recommended an 8.8% authorized return on uh, equity, now below the national averages. Now, in response to the company's 10% uh, request, which would create significant difference in the company's earnings power through 2025, they expect a uh, settlement in the coming months, the final quarter of 2022, with an authorized ROE somewhere between 8.8 and 10%, and with new rates should take an effect of January 2023. So let me bring it back here. So based on all of that information on this utilities company company and my buy, hold or sell recommendation on Consolidated Edison. Well, here are my thoughts. Now, if a recession hits hard in a rock environment, most everybody does what they're needed to do to keep their lights on before anything else, before they expend anything else on anything else. And they have no other choice, by the way. 
There's only one company that provides electricity to your town, most likely. Now, Con Ed is a safe, solid name uh, to own in this challenging economic environment because its reliable dividend payouts are built on equally reliable power bill payments from its customers, both consumers and corporations. You know, the company has paid a dividend every quarter for several decades now, uh, but it has raised its dividend every year for the past 48 years to support its current dividend yield of 3.2%. So based on all of that, I am a hold recommendation on Consolidated Edison at the moment with a 12 month price target of only $95 a share. I would wait till the next dip to around uh, $90 a share and hold for the long term. Now it looks like uh, people buy up the price of the stock right before the dividend deadline and then the stock price comes back down. Historically speaking, as of right now, the deadline for the quarterly dividend payout is August 17th. Now, if you're looking for a long-term play and would like solid dividends, then this might be the one for you to buy, but at the right time. I would wait I would wait out this current payout and see if the stock dips and then buy and hold for the long run. There you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below. It uh, definitely helps. And consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear daily stock and cryptocurrency reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.